crucible for the forge. It's just black steel pipe, two inch. The problem is, and there's a cap on the end, is that the cap is rounded, so it kind of does that. So I gotta grind down the bottom to make it flat. Put little handles on here, these little bolts. Here's the uh, finished steel crucible. Uh, you can see the little lip at the top that I bent so that it uh, makes pouring the metal a little easier. And then it has two quarter inch bolts sticking out the side. I'm going to build some custom tongs um, that fit those bolts so that I can pick this up without uh, dropping it. Okay, so here are the uh, finished tongs. Have a quarter inch bolt going through the middle so that they can pivot and close and open. So the idea is that those little uh, hooks on the end can catch on the uh, bolts coming out of the crucible so I can pick it up. And then over here, uh, the foam forms I'm gonna be casting aluminum into. Uh, here's a slingshot and then two of my initials. Um, the S is actually a bottle opener. And then these are some shark shaped bottle openers. And then here are uh, solid aluminum ignits I uh, casted uh, last summer. And we'll just put those in there and melt them down and pour them into the foam. Okay, so here's the uh, finished setup for casting. You can see the uh, foam blocks sort of protrude out of the sand so that way you can just pour aluminum into these pockets and it'll flow right into where the foam is and then fill up the mold and hopefully make the parts. Oh, that did not work. Let's see if these came out. No. Oh. 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 It stopped short. See the first one sort of came out. Ooh. These came out well. Alright, so this is how it came out. Slingshot. The uh, pathways were a bit too narrow and the aluminum solidified before it got all the way through. But up until it got to that point, it was pretty good. So I'm going to try and make this one out of a solid piece of aluminum next time. And then the uh, shark bottle openers came out.
pretty much perfectly. Just gotta cut them off and then sand them a little bit. And then the initials didn't come out at all. Again, these were too narrow so the aluminum couldn't flow all the way through. Here are the two shark bottle openers cleaned up a bit. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the finish like this, kind of grainy. You can see, the, sort of see the uh, sand grains in it, and then uh, sandblast it later uh, when I get access to a sandblaster at school. And then here's the other one. Uh, need a bandsaw to cut out in between the fins. Don't have one here. But yeah. Now the moment of truth. It works. Okay.